hear that spirit of depression by that door. I said, you're not losing this joy this time around. God has not called you to a life of fluctuation. Joy is not a feeling. Joy is, a, is, a, is, is, is the fruit of our spirit. It's the fruit of the spirit of God. Joy is a byproduct of being with the Lord. How can you be with the Lord and not be joyful? Are you with the shadow of the Lord or you're really with the Lord? Somebody say joy. Somebody say joy. Somebody say joy. Now think about this. Think about something that happened to you five years ago. Something that you thought you would never, if, like you, you, you didn't know how you would come out of it. Anybody have that, that kind of thing? Today, does it really matter? Does it really matter? Does it really matter? So is it possible that what is looking like it will kill you five years from now? Not five years from now, it won't matter. Five years from now, it will be another tale of testimony. I mean, what is testimony without a test? Even the spelling has a test inside of it. Ah, glory to God. The dictionary meaning of joy is the emotion evoked by well-being, success, or good fortune, or the prospect of possessing what one desires. Having joy includes feeling good and vibrant happiness. But joy in itself is fuller than that spiritually. The spiritual meaning of joy is, express, is expressing God's goodness. Is a deep-rooted, inspired happiness. Praise God. Praise the Lord. So let us look at what the Bible says joy is. You see, the biblical definition of joy says that joy is a feeling of good pleasure and happiness that is dependent on who Jesus is rather than on, on who we are or what is happening around us. It's dependent on who Jesus is. The reason why a lot of us can't sustain a lifestyle of joy is because it's not dependent on God. It's dependent on what happens. And that's happiness. But you see, joy... I'll show you in a minute. James chapter 1 verse 2 to 4. Somebody. Somebody say I've got joy. Strings for me. Somebody. Not a slow string. but Somebody say I've got joy. Somebody say I've got joy. Somebody can say I'll catch joy. Maybe perhaps you are here. I want to enjoy joy. Alright. James 1 verse 2 verse 2 to 4. It says, dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind comes your way, consider it an opportunity for what? Many of you are wasting your opportunity of great joy. He said, consider it, meaning trouble is coming your way. And he said, I was saying, yeah, what do you do? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I said, come on how? Come on trouble. No, come on, because we're about to defeat it. I'm about to express another level of joy. I'm about to grow muscles. I'm about to become another... What are you doing with what is coming your way? To consider it. When trouble comes your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. Endurance doesn't grow if it's not under pressure. Endurance is endurance for a reason. Meaning you have the tenacity to stay. I'm going somewhere. So let it grow. Somebody say let it grow. So that means you can, you can choose to not let it grow. Let it grow. For every time you are bought a process, you are denying yourself of growth. Let it grow. For when you are born, your endurance is fully developed. You'll be perfect and complete and needing nothing. Somebody say needing nothing. I say, so joy is a response to trial. So when trial comes as a believer, what should happen? Is we should see. You see, trials should expose your level of joy. They see, do you understand that joy is not a gift of the spirit? I said, God, it could have been nice if it was a gift. It's a fruit. Meaning, you can't catch this thing because it was dashed. They dash you. You catch it because you are with someone. Because you are with God. Joy is the evidence that you, are, you have the infilling of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. So those of us that say we are with the Holy Ghost, I'll show you in a minute. Another thing we need to see, that means <laughs> trial indicates opportunity to grow. Somebody say to grow. Somebody say to grow. First Peter 1, verse 6. So, so be truly glad 
There is wonderful joy ahead. Even though you must endure many trials for a little while. Is anybody enduring trials for a little while? These trials will show that your faith is genuine. This is it is being tested as the fire tests and purifies gold. Though your faith is far more precious than mere gold, so when your faith remains strong through many trials, somebody say many trials. I saw through scripture most times when the Lord talks about joy, he talks about trials. He talks about trials. Is it possible that joy is one of the component that will help you go through trials and not break? God sees that you need to grow. Whether trial you cause for yourself, trial that come to you, trial that life throws at you, whatever trial, joy is a response. See, joy is not an emotion. Somebody say amen. It says to bring you much praise and glory and honor on the day when the Lord is revealed. So eight says, you love him even though you have not seen him. Though you do not see him now, you trust him. And you rejoice with your glorious, inexpressible joy. The reward for trusting him would be the salvation of our souls. So salvation should cost you joy. I didn't hear a response. Amen. How many of you just sit by like, wow, I'm saved. You get excited in your spirit. If you're not experiencing that, that's called the joy of your salvation. If you're not expressing the, if you're not experiencing the joy of your salvation, maybe we need to be saved. Because the reality of being pulled out of darkness into his marvelous light should create joy inside of you. Praise God. I'm going somewhere. Romans 15 verse 13. I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with, with joy and peace because you trust in him. That you overflow with confidence hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. So what does joy produce in you? We've established that joy Dictionary is an expression of happiness. We will realize that joy, scripturally, is yes, the celebration of the good, is the happening of the goodness of God. Yes, there's great things happen to you. But the foundation on which your joy is based will determine if it will crash or not. So if joy is inched on the word of God and the knowledge of God, somebody say glory. Then when trials come, you come out like fine wine. Do you know that we're writing exams every time? Believers, when you go through trials and you crack, see what the Bible says. I'm coming. Nehemiah 8 verse 10. So what does joy produce in you? Number one, joy will produce strength in you. Somebody say strength. I can't hear you. So somebody say strength. So when pastor was praying and he was talking about strength, I just smiled. Because joy will produce strength. Sorry, I've lost my voice. It's been a joyful weekend. Let me explain something to you. There are some things you go through. If you don't have strength, you can't go through it. Have you realized that willpower is not enough? Determination is not enough. I will. You know, I'm going to overcome. I'm going to, I'm going to. I mean, if I purpose in your mind, you're going to read the Bible three hours. and five minutes, you are dozing. Praise God. How many of you have been through certain situations and you're wondering, how can I get by? Nehemiah 8 verse 10 says, Go and celebrate with a feast of rich food and sweet drinks and share gift of food with people who are you, who are with you. There's, this is a sacred day before our Lord. Don't be dejected and sad. I'm with the last part. For the joy of the Lord is what? I can't get it. For the joy of the Lord is what? So it means that when adversity comes, it reveals your strength. And your strength, if you fail in the days of adversity, the Bible says your strength is what? Little. So if the joy of the Lord is your strength, and if you fail in the days of adversity, what does that mean? Your strength is connected to joy. Your strength is connected to joy. So how do I tap into this joy? I'm going somewhere. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somewhere. Praise the Lord. So now we've seen that <laughs> the joy of the Lord is our strength. Now let's look at this case study. Praise the Lord. The three, um, the four, how many are they? Let's look at the story of Daniel. I'm just going to say it. And the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. By the way, the original name, I'm not going to know it. The one they gave them, that, all those ones. So, but Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Praise God. What happened to them, guys? How were they able to look at the, and tell the king, Oh, king, 
It takes strength not to back down when the enemy comes at you. It takes strength for you to refuse to bow. Were there no other Israelites in that place? How come they mention their names? So they say, oh king, we are not afraid. We are not careful to tell you this. We are not going to bow. We are not going to and they said, throw them into the fire. You see, we read the Bible like a story because we know the end. Guys, this is what happened. They did not know. Right? For them, being saved means we die in the fire, we be with our Lord. He rescue us. He's, God is good. How did they come to that place? It takes a level of strength. Guys, if they were going by the fire, this day and age, the reason some of us say, our God will save us is because you have heard testimony. Amen? Of people that, I was about to enter the fire and the Lord came and grabbed me. So, when you say, I won't bow, in your mind, you are, you are like, ah, God that did it for Salewa, he will not shame me. So what will happen? You are going to the fire. As you go towards the fire, you will so call. Notice that will happen. They say the king is calling out. But before we get there, the king changes his mind. You get there, the king refuses to say, God lies, the God of last minutes. You know all those things? Last minutes, 24 hour, 11 hour miracle kind of guy. And then they will start to lead you. You follow them. They say, no, before we get to the fire. They say, increase the fire. They say, so before they increase it, but you saw that the people that were increasing, they turned to us. The people that were increasing the fire were also burnt by the fire. The smoke, not the fire, the smoke, the 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 heat rather, the heat of the fire finished them. At that point, ladies and gentlemen, it is not the story of Pastor Emissi that will make you to keep going. It is not the promise of the week. By that time, you have even forgotten it. Some of you, at that point, you've forgotten your name. But the thing that will keep you going is strength. And this is not strength by muscle. This is strength backed by knowledge. How many of you by that point say, Sir, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. The God I said that he will first save us, apparently, he is not on duty today. Can you take us back? And he threw them into the fire. We didn't hear for once as we were going to the first time, God, oh God of Israel, if you don't save us now, let us know. Did we hear another sort of conversation? No. Oh. So what am I saying to you guys? He says that the joy of the Lord is your strength. What does it look like? It doesn't look like you are laughing all the time. I'm going to say amen. Somebody say amen. It doesn't look like you are laughing all the time. Now let's look at Hebrews chapter 12. The next case study I want to look at is Jesus. He said, Hebrews 12 said, Therefore, since we are surrounded by the huge cloud of witness to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily trips us up. Let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. We do this. Let me jump. Let me use Amplify. Let me use, let me use the message translation. I love the way message puts it. Message says, do you see what this means? All these pioneers who blaze the way. All these veterans cheering us up. If, if it means we better get up with it. Strip down. Start running. Never quit. No extra spiritual fat. Or prosthetic sins. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Who both began and finished this race we are in. Study how he did it. Because he never lost eye of what was ahead of him. The exhilarated finish in and with God. He could put up with anything. Cross, shame, whatever. And now he's there. In the place of no honor, right alongside God. Somebody says, another special says, because of the joy awaiting him, he endured the cross disregarding the shame. Because of the joy, can I bring out something? Joy is not an abstract feeling. Joy is, joy is tangible. Praise God. Joy has a substance. And first, one of the substance of joy is the word of God. Another translation said, because of the joy in bracket, the thought of you and I in the future, he was seeing something that gave him strength to keep going. What are you seeing? Sometimes you're going through things, strength will not just jump at you. What have you fed your spirit with that can create something on your inside that gives you tenacity to remain? Somebody say joy. The reason why a lot of us get tired is because we feel like joy is just an emotion. So you're going through some things and you don't have the emotion and you say, oh no, I'm not joyful. Or you're going through some things and you don't have the emotion and you disregard what God is doing in the moment. Praise the Lord. 
know the scripture asks us that, have you started losing blood like Christ? One of the verses says, Jesus suffered all these things. Did you suffer as much as he did? So why do you want to give up? This morning, I want to bring to our attention that you see, that scripture has been on my heart. In the days of adversity, if you fail, in the days of adversity, your strength is small. If you fail in the days where there's pressure, your strength is small. So let's look at this. So Jesus faced everything we face. Let's, now they say that he endured the shame. Guys, getting money. What was getting money about? Enjoy the cross. Despise the shame. What happened in getting money? Anybody? Jesus was with me. What did he say? God, if this is your will, let this cup pass over me. So I'm here to tell somebody that sometimes joy doesn't mean you don't feel the pain. Joy doesn't mean that you don't feel the pressure. In fact, joy doesn't mean you don't cry. Joy doesn't mean you are not, in, you are not contending. Joy doesn't mean you are not... Like Elvis was saying, so he said, and I said, don't worry, it's fine. Don't worry, it's fine. Did not come from a place of, uh, don't worry, it's fine. Not because he did not acknowledge that there was something. The doctor is telling him something. But he knows something. So he could draw strength from what he knows or what he understood to speak into what is happening in the now. The problem is a lot of us don't have anything in our reservoir. You can't have joy or strength where you have not, you have no, nothing. So I have strength. It's not by that time when you are going through something, the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. It's not like that that joy will fly on you. Who is ready to build joy? I say build joy because I realize it's a fruit. So let's look at something. Joy is a propeller and encourager. God was a job. I said this, if Jesus needed joy, you need it. If Jesus, almighty Jesus, God of God. If God himself that came to die needed, despised the shame, endured the cross, and he did it because for the joy, you know that's a secret of, do you know that verse is a secret of Jesus? So that time they were beating Jesus. Don't be saying, no, feel him. He was looking at something. He was looking at you and I. He was looking at the reality that, you know what, man, this is my sacrifice. This pain has a purpose. So this pain I'm going through right now is going to reconcile some people back to my father. He was looking at the reality that, okay, hey. They're mocking him. Guys, you don't understand. They stripped your savior. A.K.A. they he the king of glory. You read Bible like storybook. On a very small day, they even just you get to a place once to ask for food. Can I have? You just excuse. Just say, sir. You say, excuse me. Can I see your manager? Do you know why they never even naked you? They sh- guys, you don't understand. The king of glory. You see, when I was studying again, I realized, you see that fruit of the Spirit? You are better tabernacle there more than you are impressed by gifts. Because you see that fruit? That's the essence of Christ. That's where he got the strength to do what he did. So when God is saying greater works, meaning greater more than you need fruit, I did fruit, you will need fruit. Greater works is not just I did, how did he do? He did because he had fruit. It's not just greater miracle. Great, greater fruit, greater love. Fine, we had issues in the society back then. It's not as bad as it is now. So you see why you need more love. Exciting. I'm waiting for our workers' meeting, our activation we're going to do today. I saw something yesterday. I realized, here, catch me. Somebody, God said to somebody, God says, I am the only one that has the right to discern cannot disown somebody on behalf of God. What does that mean? See, you get to heaven and see where they are going. Even if for whatever reason they've shown that what it is. Now, even if there is a separation, you must not stop seeing them through the eyes of God. And that right there is what? Love. That love. So that's how Jesus could deal with Judas. Some of us, I say if I was in, if I was washing the leg of Judas, you have mistakenly broken his toe. How do you explain it? 
The boy, guy was stealing money. They said, give him pause. Is there not something about Jesus' leadership that we need to understand? You know that this one, now a thief, he said, give him pause. Is it possible they gave him the pause also as a chance of repentance? What do I mean? The very thing you are going through that you think is something that God doesn't know. God is aware and is hoping that as that is training ground. But well, some of us will despise. No, 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 no. I said another thing. Because you are not caught, doesn't mean you are not seen. Because they have not exposed you, doesn't mean you have not been caught. What am I saying? Greater, when Holy Ghost was saying, that, go and read Hebrews 12. Use make different, that same scripture said that if I don't correct you, you are an illegitimate child. That's the scripture. What was he talking about? That's the same scripture that talk about Esau syndrome. Because of this lack of joy, lack of patience, lack of endurance that Esau had, he traded his birthright. What are you trading today because of lack of joy? Because of lack of patience? Because of the fruit of the spirit? Little prayers of, ah, I'm not my God, I can do this. I was not born to suffer. And there's some suffering that you have to suffer to get Esau and get Saul out of you. There's some things you will go through. I was saying some of my friends, this Christianity. Uh, have you read your Bible? It says if you leave your mother, your father, your daughter, I will give and family and riches. I will give you father, mother, daughter, family, riches and persecution. That's top up. Matthew 10 says that you are, uh, uh, if they hated me, your father, they will hate you. But some of us don't want to be. Like, like they must not like me. Instagram, like, what call? He said, if you don't, if you don't, that means you want a life other than the life of your father. Somewhere. So when he's saying greater, when I was, I'm like, hey, guys, they stripped Jesus. They put a ton of um, crown on his head. They beat him for waiting on consign him. They won't thief by his side at the audacity. Guys, listen. They say, who do you want, Jesus or Barabbas? They shout him. I'm sure in that crowd, you have seen the one that was doing like this before that he healed. And now I was shouting, Barabbas, rubbish man. Some of us, see some of us like I'm exempted. But this table. The book of lamentation, the book of remembrance, he wore. If you don't have the power, Father, leprosy, Pasha, you, blackness, is <laughs> Oh yeah, you know, control, undo. Oh yeah, undo all their miracles. But guess what? Hey! To live in joy is like living in an alternate reality. He was pressed on all sides, but he was putting something before him. That one day there will be one in Michigan girl, if I don't die, she's doomed. There's one day that some countries will not be able to buy a cow. Every, every scene. <laughs> No, I've seen it. It's plenty. There's some people like he was looking into the future. He was seeing the joy that will be on the father's face. That father, I have fulfilled that which you sent me to do. He didn't want to go back to his father and say, Father, depression was too much. I didn't do it. The joy of pleasing his father, the joy of the reward of being a true son, the joy was before him. What is before you? Joy is not abstract, it has a substance. What is before you? Why do you come to church and serve? I saw on them Toby's page. They were still going on at past 10 or something. And um, someone was really singing off key. I saw that too. But you have to get up in the morning and come. Because the day we're done with church and service, Bishop had to go back to work. What is before you? I'm asking you this morning. What are before you? What you have not been shown. Or what you don't see. Because guess what? We have different things before us. Nobody is blind though. Nobody is blind. Let me explain. So some of us are going through something. What's before you? How can they talk to me this way? How can they treat me this way? And guess what? And that's sipping your joy. And that will affect your reaction. Some of us are going through this thing and already you are thinking about you're going through stuff like God, how can you have left me? You are seeing all the negative. You've forgotten all the good things God has done. James says that count it a joy. He said, count it joy. Trouble is coming. Count it joy. It's a choice. Meaning counting is a choice. If you don't count, it no go count. It won't count itself. 
You see what I realize? And Lord said, a lot of us have, we like this move of Holy Ghost. We don't know how to translate. How do you practically receive that Jesus is Lord? How do you walk it Monday to Friday? How do you count? I'll give an example. Some things happened this morning. Husband and I, it, my calibration was a journey. You know, fast like some days. But we decided, I know what, to count it all joy. You have to count it all joy. You have to count it all joy. We are not preaching to you as people that our lives just, we have to count it all joy. This is what God has given. We will count it all joy. We will count it all joy. Some of you, that's how you count it all joy. Someone say, I will count it all joy. Because this morning, we are going to count. You have to count it all joy. That I was speaking to somebody this week. Someone that slept in car. Went through all he's going through. He, he came out better. Another person that went through the same thing came out bitter. It's not what you are going through that is determining what will happen to you. It's what do you know? What is before you? The same situation. This guy was even trying to help the other guy to be better. You see, I said this some weeks ago. To have breakthrough, you need breakthrough mentality. If you have a mentality that's anti-joy, you can't produce. So joy, one of the things I saw about joy is a force that keeps you going. It's a force that makes you remain in battle. What are you keeping before you? I thought about it. God, at that point, even God fasted Jesus. Look at this. Go and read by I mean, Amen. Just one time, say, Father, forgive them, but they don't know what they do. The next minute, my father, my father, why are you forsaking me? You go have, was it at work? God, was, God, Jesus went to different emotions. From Gethsemane till he gave up the ghost. He went, they said, Father, onto my hand, I commit my soul. Like, Baba, pick one. Are you angry? Are you thankful? What are you doing? That's what he was, he was counting with all joy. That's what it looks like. Sometimes it means that you are seeing the situation. You say, Oh, Lord, this is about to finish me. But, Lord, I know that you're a good God. You say, When I see trouble, Lord, the practice. Some of you get stuck in one of the expressions of counting the joy. You get stuck in the pain. You get stuck in the this has happened. Lord, how do we get out of this? Somebody say amen. Joy is not denial of situation, but choosing not to allow it to dictate how you see life, God, your mood or your action. Joy isn't just about miracles or what you get. It's based on what you know, what you see beyond this physical. Joy isn't just happiness. Somebody say amen. And I love this. Miracles aren't the sole activator of joy. You know why? Case study number one. In the book of... Alright, let me find the book. Let me just tell you the case study. If you look at Numbers 13, paraphrase, verse 1. The Lord said to Moses, Send out men to explore the land. The land I am giving to the Israelites. Praise God. Is there a promise there? Who are these people? They just came out of Egypt through our force. Did they just see all the 10 plagues or, or 12 plagues or how many plagues were they? Nine plagues. The plagues. Did they see all the plagues? Talk to me now. Did they see all the plagues? Is it not wow? Did they try to make movie from it? Right. They saw the plagues. They came out. They went back to ask the Egyptian for everything. They gave it to them. They saw the Red Sea. Was that not fantastic? And after the Red Sea, they've seen so many things. Yet, there's even some manner. Yet, they told, God now said, the same way I've given you all those, I want to give you a land. Go and spy. They went, they came by, they said, Lie, lie, we can't take this. They said, We're like grasshopper. At what point did people say that you are, nobody had a conversation with them? They just perceived that they were like, What am I saying? Even all the miracles could not make them to believe. They didn't have enough joy to go for the miracle. Like, Whoa, another opportunity. When James accounted all joy, he's saying that that means that which you are saying is about to become a plain ground. But look at this woman. The woman in Mark chapter 5, the woman with the issue of blood. This woman, the Bible says, verse 27, she heard the report concerning Jesus and came up behind him in the throne and touched his garment. But she kept saying, if I can only touch. Guys, wait a minute. This woman, all her life's issues, how many years of blood? 12. Why should she be? She should, should be angry with God. Where is this God when I was struggling? The Bible says that they've taken all our life savings. 
Some people saw miracle back to back, yet they became entitled and could not have joy to pursue. And one woman just heard about this God, not, not even seen it firsthand. And something shifted in her mind. You know what? I can touch the hem of his garment and she got healed. What am I saying? Joy is not just created by miracles. If it was, who should be more trusting that he will give them the land? The woman with the issue of blood or the children of Israel? But yet, they did not enter because of their unbelief. What am I saying to you? To those of you that you are waiting that, no, I'm waiting for that miracle to happen, then I will have joy. And see, it's what you have at that moment is happiness. Because even if you have it, if you don't understand how to go back to draw from the past testimony, it's just a waste. You'll be glad that it happened and everyone is happy. But afterwards, you can't pull strength from it. Somebody say, Amen. It isn't a gift of the Spirit. I've said it. So how do you grow? How do you grow in joy? Let's establish it for it is a fruit. It is a fruit. Matthew 7, 15 to 21. Beware of false prophets who disguise as harmless sheep. If you go to verse 17. No, verse 16. He said you can identify them by their fruits. That is by the way they act. Can you pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from teasels? A good tree produces a good fruit. A bad tree produces a bad fruit. A good tree cannot produce bad fruit. A bad tree cannot produce good fruit. So every tree that does not produce fruit is chopped down and thrown into the fire. Yes, just as you can identify a tree by its fruit, you can identify people by their action. So being joyful or the lack thereof shows us your fruits. It's not enough to talk joyful, to seem joyful, to jump in church. If it doesn't show Monday to Sunday, you don't have joy. Or maybe you are not activating and living in joy. Is somebody catch what I'm saying? It is a fruit. You cannot be joyful and we don't know it. You can't live in joy and we don't know it. You can't live in joy and we don't know it. Why? We will see it. How? We will see it on. We will see it from how you handle situation. We will see it from how you deal with life. We will see it from how you relate with people. We will see it from how you handle persecution. We will see it from how you handle challenging situation. Am I speaking to somebody in this house? We will see it. It's not abstract. I've got joy, 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 joy. It's great. We sing it. But are you joyful? How do I know you are joyful? When life throws things at you, how do you respond? Do you still judge God faithful or you walk out on God? You give God ultimatum. Joy is not abstract. Somebody say joy is not abstract. So how do you grow joy? Through knowledge. Jesus knew something. The vision or the picture of the future kept him going. You can't grow in joy if you don't know anything. And you only grow in this knowledge to the word. Joy will not jump at you. I've seen a lot of gifted, anointed but depressed people. Praise God. Can I tell you something? I was reading something yesterday about some known ministers. Oh. Don't let me go far. Do you know that some of the greatest revivalists we read about? They died... Because of soul issues, because of when I mean soul issues, pain, hurts, unforgiveness. Some of them died heartbroken. Some of them were angry at people. Because like Jesus, and I tell myself this, like Jesus, he did mighty things, but people still did. People still were still people to him. So if your joy is injured when people are clapping for you, when they stop clapping, what will happen? So we, we are a bunch of people that we say we have joy, but what we have is hype. It's hype. Go fake it. Go fake it. Go, go. That hype is pumping you. You say it's just no joy because the person that owns the hype, when it comes out, you fall down. When they stop encouraging you, that's how you know if you're joyful. The Bible says, and David encouraged himself in the Lord. You know what that was? He tapped into something. That's joy. Praise God. So, one of the ways you grow joy, knowledge. Check the case study of the 12 spies and the woman with the issue of blood. Another way you grow joy is a fellowship with the Holy Spirit. You 
because it's the joy of the Holy Ghost. You, have you ever been down and you speak to the Holy Spirit and He encourages you? Reminds you of things that you can do? Reminds you of testimonies? The f- I, I'm looking for a Sunday, hopefully by God's grace, amongst the many things I say I will teach that I've not yet teach, forgive me in advance, to teach about the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Ah! Oh, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. You are going through some things. What did the Bible say in Gethsemane? The Bible says, and the Spirit came to, min- they ministered. Like God, and it was granted strength. And not my will, but your will. And again, when it was tempted, the angels came, ministered. There's a ministration of the Spirit. He has a way to touch your soul that your friends can't touch. But guess what I realized? The fellowship of the Holy Spirit does not negate knowledge. Did you hear me? Because it's true, the Holy Spirit that will even push you to read and it will reveal things to you. Another thing, another way you grow joy, community of joy givers. You don't need joy depleters. You need joy contributors. You need, I give you joy, we take joy. People that you are down, they can, they are those of joy, can ignite something. I mean, remember that, my analogy of coal. You need people like that that they just need to find that just being around them. See, if you carry joy, you can't carry the spirit of heaviness. And there's certain people that you just like to be around them. And I'm not talking about because they're extroverts. There's some people that are quiet. So just being around them creates a create an atmosphere. Become a joy carrier. Hey. Another thing is desiring to be joyful. Number four, desire to be joyful and going for it. If you want to be joyful, desire it. Go for it. Study, get knowledge. What are the benefits of joy as a rapper? Number one, it gives you strength. It helps you win emotional battles. Number three, it, it helps you go through trials with the right perspective. Joy will make you go through tough things, but people don't know why you are laughing. Have you seen people drink Gary and are drinking Gary with attitude? Because they know that it's not a condition of Gary. See, Paul was in prison, in chains, and was telling us free, rejoice. Have you ever thought about those things? Someone in chains. You will tell people, do not be ashamed. Of, because apparently in that day too, they can be ashamed of their mentor. Deep things are happening, they are their princes. Paul said, do not be ashamed, I'm in prison. I boast about my chain. Paul knew there was purpose to his chain. They even saw revelation. He said, which one of this shoe? He said, ah, you ever know this shoe, this guy will die. Paul said, nothing is stopping me, I'm going. Why? Because through this chain, the gospel will reach the Gentiles. I say joy is connected. What do you see? What do you see? Last week I said, I'm fine. There's a purpose. What do you see? Praise God. Joy will shift and impact atmosphere. Have, you ever, have people entered a place and all of a sudden, so you benefit from the grace of people around. Joy is con- You can enter a place and all of a sudden, depression can stand. How do I know? Paul was, Saul was tormented. David came. It was not the piano. It was, it was not the guitar that he was playing that was allowing demon go. It was the anointing upon him and that was connected to joy. How do we know? How do we know that that was the joy? Because when he needed to be encouraged, he asked, give me the effort. Eh, give me the effort. He did the same thing he has been doing. See, joy, you cannot whip up joy in the days of trouble. It has to be your life positioning. And guess what? We can grow in this revelation. Because like every other fruit, you don't have joy. I have joy. I have joy, bagam. No. You keep growing in joy because the more you fellowship with the Holy Spirit, the joy the Lord gives you things. Look at what happens to our father in faith. No man person cannot go through that thing. As a time, like, how? That he did not, he, he, see that thing that he came out to come and worship God in the altar of that day. It's not something that you realize. Because when you get there, the words won't come out. You will need to say, God, I jo- you not do well. But you are there. But well, because when you step on a cockroach, no matter how hard, blood can come out. He doesn't have the capacity to bleed. It's what is inside cockroach that will come out under pressure. So the same thing, trials, persecution, things you go through, it reveals what is inside of you. Do you have joy or not? And when you say, yeah, you don't, what do you do? Get to the word. What's wrong with my word life? What's wrong with my knowledge? And there are rewards for being a joyful person. But the joy set ahead of him. He endured. What are you going through right now? What are you seeing? So, you know, there's something called childhood trauma. And can I tell you, nobody, everybody has a boy. She is in Africa. If 
percentage if some a lot of dysfunction that we have embraced say ah, why are you doing that i know no i'm not like that that's how i be they just ask you why you just speak you just remember your mother's voice no 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 Bible says Jesus endured. Do you know what that is? He went through it. He went through it. That's why he can lead us there. You can't take people to where you have not been. Or where you are not going. What am I saying to you? This joy I'm telling you this morning. I know joy. When we hear joy, we say, yeah, praise God. You have joy. Yeah. You see that shout? It's great. That's level one. Most time when you are walking out your joy, you are not shouting. You are like someone that your head is touching. You are telling yourself, oh, oh, you are bad brain. You see, you are going to be joyful. This thing is not going to kill you. You are going to, that's what joy looks like. It's waging war. But a lot of us don't know it. We think joy is just, oh my God, I feel great. God is good. No. 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 Joy is majorly knowledge. It's wrestling. The Bible says capture like prisoner of war. Every thought. You want back, come here. Come here. Where are you coming from? You are not good enough. Whoop, release you. Where are you coming from? Yeah, back. That's how we are to engage our mind. You allow them parade in front of you. Did God really say? You see, did God really say going? Did God really say? Like you are like, did God really say? And that's it. We teach you already going. He really say? <laughs> you are about to fall down. He say? Why you say? Did he really say? You are supposed to know that one. You know they don't like you. They don't like me. He really say? <laughs> There's nothing the devil wants to remind you that's for good. Yeah, you did not pray. The devil is reminding you. It's not because he wants you to pray. No, it's condemnation. When did it become a alarm clock? So when did the devil come, you did not pray. Oh, you. You said, oh my God. Hey, oh, you, you saw, eh. And so, and that's like, it's not, see, you don't know how to wage war of the mind. If you go even cycle with it, all this and they tell you affirmations, my mind is great, my body is good. Where did they get it from? It's scripture. Have you seen the Jew meditate? When they are meditating, you, you see them, they are chanting things back to themselves. There is no void in the spirit. If you are not talking to yourself, somebody is talking to you. Is that is God or the devil? Something. The ba- devil is on full time job. Looking for who to kill, to steal, to destroy. You, you are taking break from word. You're taking break from right community. You're taking break from speaking. If you don't speak, who will speak for you? What's your mouth for? To only talk on phone? Oh my God, so what's happening? If you notice that, hey, no, no. I take people around me, just when they are moody. You just say, it's just the weather. It's not weather. It's not weather. You have to check it where? Hello? Where you come from? Mood? What happened? Did I see something? Ah, I said on Instagram, Holy Spirit. You go, Father Lord, I've opened my eyes again. So now we're going to shut it. You wait war. You see, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, capture like prisoner of war. You don't negotiate with prisoner of war. You capture, eh, swabby. You are not going there. You can't do this job. Why can't I do it? I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Your mind is saying no. You say, in one, I say I don't agree. I'm telling you, sometimes these things, I've said it before that Papa, they say, Papa says, shut up. Are we? You don't see them. They are around. <laughs> they are looking for you. But guess what? That's also how goodness and mercy is looking for you. The question is, which one do you hear? The Bible says, the voice of a stranger you will not hear. But some of us are more familiar with the voice of the stranger and the voice of our Lord. You don't get familiar to the voice of God's Lord word by being a visitor. You have to dwell. Because when you speak the word as a dweller, it carries power. When you speak as a visitor, you are trying to convince yourself. Abi can do it, can do it. Abi, you see, they were going on the road and Papa said, 
they, they said they were about to have and I said, people said, Jesus, Jesus, said, stop it. One Jesus is enough. He's understanding. He's not about wow. He's not how long you wow that determine the results. You call it. You declare it. But how do we get there? You practice it. You pra- Christians practice. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I didn't mean yeah. I mean yeah. Don't worry that thing. Practice. Kamila Rani. Sorry, I'm coming. That's how you fight with the devil. Devil, you are coming for me. There are days I'm crying and I'm declaring. With long life will it satisfy me? So your tears should not disqualify that you have faith. Let it water prayer. Let it do something. Amen? Who's ready to pray this morning? Who's ready to fight? What I want you to do about joy this morning, stir up in your inside. I'm telling you, as I start, the battle is in the mind. You, you are joyful that you know. The problem is you are waiting for a feeling. Your feelings will catch up. It will catch up. Last week, me and Bishop came, we were both dealing with things in our body. I was just telling you, it's okay. Only say, I'm, I'm practicing my faith. No. I said, see me that I don't practice faith. I don't use drugs. You used to go and use drugs. He said, I'm practicing my faith. And I play, like play. Good. And he's sweating. His blood temperature is rising like this. He said, no. He said, ah. I'm healed in the law. And I'm saying, hey, oh my God. But guys, like play, like play. Hello. Look at him here. What am I saying? Sometimes you give up too quick. Your clouds are already full. Like Elisha's servant, keep checking. You go small. You know, they, ha! Ah! But some of us will say, no, 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 no. They say there's no word he has spoken that will come back for it. So it's not, it's not him that is lying. There's something jamming. Whether it's me, whether it's the devil, somebody has to shift. And guess how I draw with joy. So though I'm pain, I'm laughing. So that I'm under pressure, I'm declaring. My mind, yeah, word. My body, yeah, word. My spirit, yeah, word. You have the capacity. Will somebody get up this morning. Stop the pity party. You are waiting for somebody. What are you waiting for? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I wish I could tell you the number of things that sometimes we are battling with it. Sometimes we look at it this way. I want you to find first yourself. I'm beginning to say Holy Ghost. I know my joy is as if it's not complete but now I know it's by knowledge. So you're not going to go and look for joy. It's not a gift that you are waiting for the Holy Spirit to give you. It's a fruit of the Spirit. So you fellowship with the Holy Ghost right now. Say, Holy Ghost, no more cheating. It's with joy. Let me show you something. Alfred, come. Let me open this thing. Carry it up, please. I need someone that have Bela. Who have cup? Give me, give me that white thing. Aha. Oh my God, Libra do shapaya daba. So what are you? All things are possible. This is the wells of salvation. It's not one. You get to this well, you want something. They say, give me. They are looking at you. Give me. They are looking at you. You go. I tell you now in the name of Jesus. Rabba ya ba ya ba. They are looking at you. You no no no. They are looking at you. You do anyhow. I speak to you, move. They are looking at you. The only thing that this is response to is joy. So this is the first step. You go there, speak. After speaking, make sure your speaking is blessed with joy. Because you can be declaring, but you are angry. Declaring, but you don't believe. Declaring, but you're but joy is. Hey, the Lord has done it. Back I happen to you. Say, no problem. I fall down today. I wake up. Joy is in or not. He's a good God. He has said it. So you go there. You don't even need to talk. Your joy create the fetcher. Listen, the fetcher doesn't come with your joy all of a sudden. Let me put it this way. As you get there with joy, he opens. And then you can fetch. And guess what? They don't stop. This wealth of salvation does not move. It's your joy that cuts short. 
This wealth of salvation is there. So as you have perpetual joy, you have perpetual access. And then that joy gives you strength. So when you are going through something, you are going through something, we are waiting seven years for children. We are waiting for a job, you are waiting for something. You are wanting deeper work with God. And it feels like you don't have access. That's why it says, sing oh barren. You who that don't have a child. He said, this stretching will not kill me. There is barrenness but I'm stinking. He said, why are you rejoicing? Because the Lord has done it. I just need to get my fetter. I just need to get my fetter. And your fetter is joy. Somebody break into joy in this house. By speaking to the Lord. By declaring the Lord, I'm ready. You are waiting for a prayer point. I'm not giving you one. Talk to God, whatever. I hear the Lord stop the pity party. Some of you need to laugh. Yes. Is it counting all joy when you go through diverse temptation? It's going to be a miracle. If I give it to God, is it cast down all your cares unto the Lord for He cares for you? If I cast it down, He cares enough. He cares enough. Somebody want to add dance to it. You might not look at your family. Hey, you might not look like you can break out from that family bondage. You are no more rising and falling in your faith. Today you are happy, tomorrow you are not happy. This might happen, this might not happen. But your joy should be intact. One more minute, come on. I've got joy. I've got joy. Talk to that problem. Capture those thoughts. No more. No more. Will I allow negative thoughts pass my heart? The moment it rises, I cast you down. Why? With another word. Joy, 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 joy.